Spain and above 65 uh, years of the prevalent uh, go to uh, 12%. <laughs> It represents uh, one of the most important uh, public medical problems and with high cost for the state per year. Uh, 90% of the patients who, who, are, uh, who go to the hospitalization with congestive heart failure uh, have uh, 90% of hyperbolemia. Pretty low is increased. Uh, so far, the approach to pre low reduction in patients with congestive heart failure depends on the use of high potency diuretics. We have previously reported a dynamic stenosis of inferior vena cava associated <coughs> with beneficial hemodynamic changes in some patients with congestive heart failure. And we also reported the first case of percutaneous transmural cable flow restriction with balloon in congestive heart failure patients. Here we have a, a long axis view of the inferior vena cava in a congestive heart failure patient with a, a, a dynam IBC dynamic stenosis. Uh, as you can see, the patient has an uh, obstruction of the inferior vena cava during inspiration and uh, total occlusion of the inferior vena cava then has a uh, subtotal occlusion during expiration and the flow pass to the right action again. Here we have uh, the cable counterpulsation model. It's important to reduce uh, LV loading and RV loading condition in the new concept. And the cable counterpulsation model is an oval shaped balloon with modified walls as loaded on, the, on its surface. Made with a polyurethane material which is installed in a two way catheter inflated from the outside and fixed to the wall of the inferior vena cava. It costs very low reduction in permittently when synchronized, this is very important, when synchronized with the respiratory phases. Production, produce, producing total occlusion during inflation as total occlusion during expiration. The this balloon should be inflated according to previous calculation of the IBC diameter and the inspiratory collapse. Here we have one. how the balloon works. The balloon works to be inferior vena cava, we fix, the balloon is inflated, and, and you can see the balloon is moving uh, because the inspiratory collapse. Uh, during the inspiration, the balloon cut the flow during inspiration, cut the flow to, from the IPC to the right atrium, and during inspiration, the flow again. Now, this slide is to explain uh, the normal IPC flow pattern compared with the IPC flow with counterpulsation, cable counterpulsation flow. In the right panel, Right panel. In the right panel, we can see the normal IBC flow pattern. This is during inspiration. You can see high velocity flow, expiration, low velocity flow, and during inspiration again, high velocity flow. This is a normal, normal IBC flow pattern. When you use the balloon, the balloon occludes the IPC during expiration and no flow is present. During expiration, flow is again, and during expiration, no flow is again. So we have no flow, flow, no flow. This is intermittent reduction of the free flow. Here we 
we have uh, the counter pulsation balloon and uh, the blow competing with the preload reduction model. Obviously, during inspiration corresponding to this phase of the model, no flow is present. Then during expiration can be the, the, the red, the, this is the flow, and then again inspiration, no flow is present. At the, uh, the right panel can see the chain of the flow maximum during Here we see the maximum flow in the IBC in TCO and can we see the changing of the flow from T0 to delta T1. Here we have the equation that draw the process. Here we have the balloon in the patient with the jetpack failure. This was the number one case. And you can have to say here the balloon during in activation and the balloon during inspiration. No flow is present, no flow here during activation because the IPC is closed and flow during acti in activation here because the, the IPC is open. Uh, here you can see close, open, close, open, okay. Here we have the first PCR <coughs> case with CCT when we cut the pulsation balloon in an ischemic human. A CTCDR or female heavy smoker with history of a myocardial infarction at age 46 years and hospitalized for acute congestive heart failure one year ago. A receiving optimal, optimal medical treatment with a cardiac or full of mine, general April and dosterone, mira blocker and, and nitrate. Now in, in functional class 2B, 3, and Canadian class in China, type 3. She was diagnosed, diagnosed as having ischemic heart disease, congestive heart failure, severe left ventricular dysfunction, and the ejection pressure was 39, and severe diastolic dysfunction with high and deep feeling pressure. Her renal function was normal, pro-BMP was high. The, basic, the patient was scheduled for coronary angiography, which revealed 50% main left stenosis and severe triple breast coronary artery disease. The patient met the cable protocol, protocol inclusion and occlusion criteria and was enrolled in our cable flow protocol. This is the procedure we performed based on central acid echo, then check right heart pressure, then insert the IBC catheter, this is set seven frames catheter, and we advance, advance the uh, IBC catheter, uh, echo guided, uh, before the drainage of the hepatic vein. This is very important for us. Don't include the hepatic vein because produced a child syndrome. Okay, the balloon was inflated according to previous calculation. The right panel, you can see the uh, the balloon in the video didn't show up. Uh, maybe turbulent flow during in, in starting the inspiration when closing the IBC producing the, the spectral doctor of high flow velocity indicating that the restriction is being produced. As a rule, as a rule of the thumb, 120 to 140 is, is an indicator of uh, retention. For, for uh, the most common flow velocity in the video of the cover is 0.7 meter second. In this case, we have 120 to 140. It's a double. It's indicating that there is a repetition. The 
here we have the resort, in this case. 44% reduction of the mean pulmonary capillary pressure. 38 reduction of the mean right ventricular pressure. reduction sorry for reduction of the mean pulmonary capillary pressure 38 reduction of the mean right ventricular pressure 60% reduction of the mean right atrium pressure 8% reduction of the LV diastolic diameter 80% reduction of the LV systolic diameter. Very important because it's indicating reverse remodeling. 20% reduction of EE prime, indicating import, important reduction of LV film pressure. 50% reduction of LV, increase of LV ejection fraction, I think so. Cardiac comfort in this case decreased from 261 to 231 during valor inflation. In other cases, cardiac comfort increased importantly. The third case is a non ischemic case depression. The before case was an ischemic. We are, now we are going to compare the balloon in ischemic against a non ischemic. Uh, it's a male, 46 year old, with history of dyspnea to mild effort and chest pain. LBCBR dysfunction, ejection fraction was 25 and EE prime was elevated. It was 12.9. LB diastolic diameter, the diameter was enlarged and 6, uh, 95 centimeter. LA was enlarged, 5 centimeter. Problem B was elevated. Coronary angiography showed normal coronary arteries. Here we have the result: 50% reduction of mean right arterial pressure, 12% reduction of right ventricular systolic pressure, 8% reduction of mean pulmonary artery pressure. 25% reduction of mean pulmonary wedge pressure. 6% increased cardiac output. This is an important point. 14% reduction of the LV diastolic diameter. 10% increase of the LV ejection fraction by symptom. 25 to 27.6. 23% reduction of the EE prime indicating that the LV feeling pressure reduced importantly. Now we have the comparison between the uh, ischemic versus non ischemic We have the two tables of both patients with the information here. We can see in the ischemic patient, we can see in the right panel, the non ischemic patient. Uh, there is very clearly important more reduction of the hemodynamic parameter in the ischemic patient. Conclusion. Fifth experience of PTCR with counterpulsation, gave a counterpulsation balloon cases in human. Conclusion. We are reporting the first experiences in human of a new procedure for intermittent preload reduction in patient with congestive heart failure. The beneficial hemodynamic and deep strand thoracic echo changes obtained in this patient suggest that this new procedure may play an important role in the treatment of, of patients with congestive heart failure. 
large study are needed to further evaluate this novel procedure. Let me have a card to resume. The doctor is very confused, treating patient with uh, hypercholemia and unhappy doctor uh, because of drastic control of the hypercholemia and the preload now with the new procedure. Thank you very much for staying here so long and uh, safe travel home.